The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is a long-standing dispute that has been ongoing for over a century. It is a complex issue that involves political, religious, and territorial factors. In this video, we will explore the history of the conflict, starting from the late 19th century to the end of World War IE. The roots of the conflict can be traced back to the late 19th century when Jewish immigrants began to settle in Palestine, which was then a part of the Ottoman Empire. The Zionist movement, which aimed to establish a Jewish homeland in Palestine, gained momentum during this period. The movement was led by Theodore Herzl, who believed that Jews needed a state of their own to escape persecution and discrimination. In 1917, the British government issued the Balfour Declaration, which promised to establish a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. This declaration was a significant turning point in the conflict as it gave the Zionist movement international recognition and support. However, the Arab population in Palestine saw the influx of Jewish immigrants as a threat to their land and their way of life. They feared that the establishment of a Jewish state would lead to their displacement and loss of their homeland. This fear was exacerbated by the fact that the Jewish immigrants were buying land from absentee landlords, which meant that the Arab peasants who worked on the land were being displaced. In the 1920s and 1930s, Tensions between the Jewish and Arab communities in Palestine escalated. There were numerous clashes and acts of violence, including the 1929 Hebron Massacre, in which 67 Jews were killed by Arab rioters. During World War, i.e., the conflict took on a new dimension. The Holocaust, in which 6 million Jews were killed by the Nazis, highlighted the need for a Jewish homeland. The British government, which controlled Palestine at the time, restricted Jewish immigration to the region, which led to illegal immigration and acts of terrorism by Jewish groups. In 1947, the United Nations voted to partition Palestine into two states, one Jewish and one Arab. The Jewish community accepted the plan, but the Arab states rejected it, leading to the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. The 1948 Arab-Israeli War, also known as the War of Independence or Nakba, meaning catastrophe in Arabic, was a pivotal event in the history of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It began shortly after the British mandate over Palestine ended and the State of Israel was declared on May 14, 1948. As soon as Israel declared its independence, neighboring Arab states, including Egypt, Jordan, Syria and Iraq, launched a military intervention to prevent the establishment of a Jewish state. The war resulted in a series of battles and clashes between the Israeli forces and the Arab armies. During the war, both sides committed acts of violence and atrocities. Palestinian Arab villages were destroyed and many Palestinians fled or were forcibly expelled from their homes, becoming refugees. On the other hand, Jewish communities also faced attacks and casualties. By the end of the war, in 1949, Israel had gained control over more territory than was originally allocated to it under the United Nations Partition Plan. The armistice lines, known as the Green Line, were drawn and Israel controlled the western part of Jerusalem, the coastal plain and most of the Galilee. The war had a profound impact on the demographics of the region. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinian Arabs became refugees seeking shelter in neighboring Arab countries or in the West Bank and Gaza Strip, which were occupied by Jordan and Egypt, respectively. In the aftermath of the war, the Palestinian refugee issue became a central aspect of the conflict. The United Nations established the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East, UNRWA, to provide assistance to Palestinian refugees and their descendants. Today, the issue of Palestinian refugees remains a key point of contention in negotiations between Israel and the Palestinians. The 1948 war also set the stage for subsequent conflicts between Israel and its Arab neighbors. It created a deep sense of resentment and loss among the Palestinian people, fueling their desire for self-determination and the establishment of an independent Palestinian state. In the next segment, we will explore the Six-Day War of 1967 
and its impact on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The Six-Day War of 1967 was a significant event in the history of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It began on June 5, 1967, when Israel launched a preemptive strike against Egypt, Syria and Jordan, which were massing troops on Israel's borders. The war lasted for six days and resulted in a decisive victory for Israel. Israel gained control over the Sinai Peninsula, the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, East Jerusalem and the Golan Heights. The war also marked the beginning of Israel's occupation of the West Bank and Gaza Strip, which continues to this day. The Six-Day War had a profound impact on the region and the conflict. It increased Israel's military and political power and solidified its control over the occupied territories. It also led to the displacement of hundreds of thousands of Palestinians who fled or were expelled from their homes in the newly occupied territories. The war also created new challenges for Israel. It now had to govern a large Palestinian population in the West Bank and Gaza Strip, which posed significant political and security challenges. The occupation of the territories also led to the establishment of Israeli settlements, which are considered illegal under international law. The Palestinian Liberation Organization, PLOR, led by Yasser Arafat, emerged as a major player in the conflict during this period. The PLOR, which was founded in 1964, had been advocating for the establishment of a Palestinian state and the liberation of Palestine from Israeli occupation. The Six-Day War gave the PLOR a new sense of urgency and legitimacy, and it began to carry out acts of terrorism against Israeli targets. In 1973, Egypt and Syria launched a surprise attack on Israel, known as the Yom Kippur War. The war ended in a ceasefire, but it demonstrated that Israel was not invincible and that the conflict was far from over. In the next segment... We will explore the peace process and the Oslo Accords of 1993.